Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of CSK News. Let's get into the first story of course today. Updates on the immortal situation going downhill fast for this team. More issues are present as KNG will be going back to Brazil officially for a short amount of time and for the time being current Guerrilla core member, a Brazilian team out there, that is Kogu who's actually played with these guys in the past, formerly of Gen X back in the 1.6 days and the Source days. I want you guys to know he has played for countless Brazilian teams so a very well worthy stand in here. He will stand in for a KNG until the time he actually acquires his P1 visa. So while he applies for that, that's actually an athlete's visa. He will be back in Brazil. And currently with that situation going on right now, we've had several updates out there, several allegations. No one really knows if he's going to face any punishment or repercussions. Many of you guys remember back to the Freakazoid days where he was bullying simple. He had to pay a fine for that and serve some, some time in the CSGO scene doing some things out there, some charity work as well. So people wondering if KNG will face similar punishment. We do not know as of right now. But other allegations out there I want to touch on very shortly. I want to say right now as well, these are not confirmed, but they are just allegations. They could have happened. Apparently Immortals Coach Zach, according to Seaside, a CSGO Twitch streamer, I'll link his channel down below as well as his Twitter on screen for all of you. According to him, in the screenshot on screen, in his Discord, he did go ahead and say that apparently Immortals Coach Zach was so afraid for FNS, who KNG was looking for back at the DreamHack Montreal Hotel, apparently at one point in time he was holding KNG in his hotel room and actually had to call the cops on his own player just because he was so scared what he was going to do to FNS. So if that's true, that is absolutely insane to hear. We're not really sure if it's been confirmed or not. If it is true, if you guys want to come out and tell us about it, many players probably know about it if it is true but also some tinier updates on that situation guys it does seem that Kogu from the Gorilla Core lineup on that same lineup is actually a brother of Hen1 and Lucas1 all these Brazilians are very closely tied and many of you guys probably did not know this but yes Hen1 and Lucas1 are of course twin brothers they have a younger brother known as PBF1 on that lineup as well he also has number one in his name so that's kind of cool but yes Kogu will eventually go back to that Gorilla Core lineup but for right now he's a temporary stand-in player now speaking of Freakazoid and the whole bullying sin that happened a long long time ago definitely move past that he does seem to be looking for other offers out there but as of right now he will play for the ESCA team known as Invictus Moyer with his younger brother as well kind of cool to see Freakazoid brothers joining up we have Hen1 and Lucas1 all these brothers out there you know we have the common rumor and the common stipulation that all these CSGO players learn their CSGO skills from their older brothers and so Freakazoid and his younger brother will join up on Invictus Moyer for the ESCA season so it does seem do I think this is going to be his final resting place no he's definitely a top tier North American talent or at least better than this game actual season here for ESCA definitely better than most of his uh, teammates on this team as well so I Will I think it's going to be his final place to stop and play for? No, I think he'll definitely wait out for another offer out there in the North American scene. But as of right now, he didn't find any offers that were worth accepting. So for the ESCA Mountain Dew League season, he will play with his younger brother, Cooper. And we're going to see how they actually finish that out. Now, on top of that, even more importantly, there are so many scams out there. I want to update you guys on that Motor 2K situation. We've talked about this so many times on this channel. And we are talking about fake Motor 2K Twitter accounts. There are so many out there, but there's actually a few main ones out there that with a lot of followers. This one on screen for all of you, Motor 2K underscore has almost 40,000 followers and is directly, ironically linked to one of the accounts we actually tried to report massively on a video I posted a long time ago, known as this one on screen as well, almost 7,000 followers, that is Mofangs. The same owner of the fake Motor 2K account with almost 40,000 followers is the same owner of that account as well. So I'm gonna link all these accounts down below. Feel free, do me a favor guys, save the community a little hassle here and go down below and report all these accounts. They've already been reported several times for suspicious activity, but they are all fake. Just an overall update, many of you guys know this, who Motor 2K really is, he donates tens and tens of thousands dollars every single year, every couple of months to Twitch streamers out there and, and people out there in the CSGO scene, other esports scene as well. A very generous guy, but he has no social media and most likely never will. And this even goes to a further extent to try and create a more of a scam here, more of a believable scam. The MoFangs and Motor 2K Twitter accounts are also linked to a Motor 2K wife account to make you even believe further. Oh yeah, Motor 2K's wife, this sounds believable. It's fake. So hope you guys all don't fall for that. I'll link all their accounts down below. Do us all a favor and report those accounts as much as possible. And also, finally, in good updates by Valve, and something worthy to share with all of you in our Counter Strike blog updates from a couple days ago, as well as in the last 24 hours. I'll link all this stuff down below for all of you. We have in beta testing now some nerfs for some future pistols out there. Many of you guys know the pistol nerf has been going on for quite some time with the 5.7 along with the Tech 9. And now we have the most important pistol being nerfed. That's the P250. And like we expected with all their pistols out there, including the Glock, which was also nerfed in this update, of course, if you're going to nerf all the other pistols out there, you probably should nerf the Glock a little bit, even though I think the Glock is obviously one of the worst pistols in the game right now. They did go ahead and nerf both of these. The main one being the running accuracy has been decreased for all of these weapons. On top of that though, kind of importantly, the P250 in long range battles has been increased for accuracy. So it's going to be cool to see how this actually affects the gameplay and it should affect it heavily. The P250 has been slightly nerfed up close, but long range has been updated in a in kind of a buffing manner. So on top of that though, we also had a bigger update going to aim punches. As many of you guys know, if you're ever shot first in CSGO, it can be very hard to retaliate and very hard to fire back because your screen is going all over the place. 
That has now officially been reduced with a new aim punch update, some gameplay on screen for all of you, so it should really change gameplay. And this is not a meta change, but it's definitely a big change coming to CSGO for all pistols as well as the aim punch, which is currently in the beta. So wait a week or two, guys, and this all should be live in the game. It's definitely a good update so far for Valve and a great response to what we really wanted. And it has been rumored that apparently by the end of this year, the Source 2 engine will also be implemented as well as 128 tick servers. I'm not gonna get your hopes up, guys. Rumors are rumors, but it could come sometime soon. If that is true, if we do, do get this before 2018, then Valve is really paying attention, and I cannot wait for that update to eventually come out. And very finally, in today's episode of CSGO News, many of you know several months ago we had a website out there, perfect for all of you newcomers of CSGO, as well as you current CSGO players to teach you how to play CSGO. I was never sponsored by them. I'll try and link them down below for all of you. I'm not being paid by this, but that's a website known as Boomio. Boomio recruited countless YouTubers, Twitch streamers, analysts, commentators, pro players out there to actually come to their website and learn how to play CSGO. It was great for the community because many of us out there did not know certain maps, certain weapons, certain strategies. All in all, it was a great website, guys, and also it could be free to use. You could also have a paid service, but it seems the company was not making near enough money as some of their original founders were actually put to rest. They left the company, and as of right now, Boomio has gone down for its content, has gone down altogether. The website is now 503, and so apparently it's not going to be in use anytime soon. Actually, Sir Scoots responded on the Reddit. I'll link the Reddit article down below for all of you, but Sir Scoots, I'll link his Twitter on screen as well as his post. He sums it up best as to what happened to that company, and will they come back sometime soon? It might not happen because apparently, of course, if you're a company and you're not making enough money to support yourselves or if you're even losing money trying to host a website of course you're not going to continue with that business plan so it seems for right now boomio is down definitely a heavy hit i think it was a great thing for the community to have so we're going to see in the future if boomio does come back but as of right now it will be down for the time being so hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of csk news i will be back tomorrow with one more episode of csk news before i take friday off and i'll see you guys saturday as well so hope you guys all enjoyed thank you all for watching please leave a comment down below and uh, i'll see you guys all next time remember i like you see ya. Thank you.